Hey guys, what's up? This is Ugly Kid back with another video. Before this video gets started, please leave a comment down below. That'd be awesome because I make reading your comments videos. If you guys would leave a comment on this video or any other video, it'll go into reading your comments video 100% guaranteed, so please go and do that. But today we're going to talk about how the Broncos just got uh, totally destroyed um, on Sunday Night Football. And I'll be talking about what Broncos fans are supposed supposed to do right now, um, who to blame, and how our season is over. All right, first of all, for you guys that don't know, uh, don't know how you wouldn't know, but um, the Broncos got totally, totally destroyed on Sunday night football against the Patriots um, last night. Uh, the score was 41-16, and yeah, it was a horrible, horrible game. So this is our fifth loss in a row, uh, and basically I thought we had a chance, like, like, well, this video, this game was the last game, in my opinion, where we could turn the season around. Um, I, I thought maybe if we win this game, we can pl plow through the rest of our schedule. We could still technically make the playoffs if we like win pretty much the rest of our games, which we are not going to do. Um, but basically, this this game it started really well. The Patriots took the field, and um, we had a quick three and out. So it's like we just. Um, made the Patriots punt right away. So we're like, here we go. We got the momentum. Kick it off to us. I had, I had some faith in Osweiler. They kick it to off to us. As Isaiah McKenzie um, is still still the punt returner after fumbling it. This is four times before this, and he um, just fumbled it just right away. Um, Patriots come back, easily score um, a touchdown, basically give them seven points. For free um so what what the heck um it doesn't make any sense why he was in at all anyway momentum totally changed but um we they gave it to our offense for the first time of the game and we're looking pretty good emmanuel sanders having some great catches throughout this game emmanuel sanders great game but basically what happened is we went all the way down the field um and we got stopped in the red zone kicked a field goal um, kind of disappointing. It could have been 7-7, but this is still a ball game. 7-3. Like, this is going well so far. Um, it's been hard for us to score even this uh, early in the game. Uh, really, really disappointing. We give seven points to the Patriots, but we could still, we're still in this game. Um, that we could get off, and he runs for a touchdown. And suddenly, it's 14-3 against the Patriots and their offense and our um, team struggling the way it has been. So at that point, we lost. Um, we lost immediately at that point, which is horrible. But I'm going to first talk about how our season is over. There's not much to talk about. The season's over. Um, <laughs> that's it. Um, and then who to blame? So a lot of, a lot of people are, they're blaming everyone. They're like blaming, um, they're even blaming Osweiler, they're blaming the defense, they're blaming all this. The blame, in my opinion, and I, my opinion is right in this one, okay? Like, I, I'm serious. It is totally the coaching. Uh, coaching is to blame. Not just Vance Joseph. All of the coaching staff is to blame. Um, horrible. It's just horrible. Osweiler had pretty great game throwing one interception, um, but a great game overall. Um... Vince Joseph, no idea why Isaiah McKenzie was still in. Uh, what a great way to start a game. Like, Vince Joseph, are you kidding me? Like, just a horrible way to start a game. I don't know what the deal was there. And then defensive coaching is something I really want to get into. Um, our defense, what, one of the best in the league, well, previous to this. We have the best personnel in the league, I, I would say, indefinitely. Uh, best personnel in the league. And what made our defense so good and how we won Super Bowl 50 was um, this great group of people, but it's just, but there's no leadership really. So Wade Phillips comes in and then he is amazing. So after Wade Phillips leaves, we have personnel 
great personnel, but no um leader, no leadership of the defense. So um, our defense, I, I don't know. We we can't um block tight ends like we can't stop tight ends. There we absolutely can't. Uh, I listened to this one podcast. It's like a 24-hour Broncos podcast, but um, there's a guy on it that was saying how technique is um, is horrible for for tight ends. Where for tight ends, you want to be in their hip pocket so that way you have a chance to get the ball. And if you don't get it, then you can tackle him. We are off like how you would recover. Uh, how you would cover a receiver, but um, with a tight end like Gronkowski, that he'll just box you out easily. It doesn't make any sense to be um, covering the tight ends the way we have been, and no one's been told to stop. Also, Von Miller um, had to cover tight ends a lot in this game, um, and he did a horrible job, which I don't blame on Von Miller because he is a pass rusher. Um, but we, we had Von Miller covering, which already doesn't really make sense, but if you're going to cover, you got to teach him how to cover. He, um, is covering tight ends and he's never done this before. He played a whole, he did a horrible job covering, um, which I, again, don't blame on Von Miller because he has no idea how to do it. So, um, coaching is definitely, definitely to the, to be, uh, to be blamed. Um, and then, of course. If you guys didn't notice, this is going to be a really short video. But um, to top off the end, end of this video, um, what do Broncos fans do now? Um, what do you need to be excited for? Well, uh, you need to hope we can win some games just to see. Um, there's a chance Paxton Lynch could, well, there's a pretty big chance Paxton Lynch will go in for at some point in the later in the season. That'll be interesting to see. We are playing the Bengals next week at home. Uh, I don't think we're gonna win that to be honest. Bengals pretty bad, uh, but I don't I don't think we're gonna win that. And then we play the Raiders in Oakland, uh, so yeah. But hopefully throughout the schedule we'll get to see some good quarterback play. Uh, Osweiler was very good in this game, I would say. Our offense was was definitely good at the start of the game. Um, it, it wasn't too bad at all, but. What you need to be excited for is um, after the season, like you, you want to get as much wins as you can, of course. But uh, we are not, we're not going to playoffs. Uh, whoever still thinks there are, sorry, we're we're not. It's not going to happen. Um, uh, of course, a miracle could happen, but it, it's not going to. Uh, but for the off season, I think LA needs to do uh, what he does a lot, which is just fire everyone on the coaching staff. Uh, Brock Olivo also not doing anything. Uh, he's the special teams coach for um, you guys that don't know. Um, our special teams is totally messed up. We don't know what the heck we're doing. But uh, we need to fire everyone on the coaching staff like he um, Elway has done many other times. I think we should draft another offensive lineman. Hopefully not one that just gets holding calls um, again like we did this year. But uh, I, I think we should draft another offensive lineman. I think we need to get good coaches. I, I, I'm This is what we need to do. I don't know how we're going to do it because I'm just a random YouTuber. But um, we need to fire the coaching staff. We need to um, draft. Our first round draft should be a offensive lineman like it was last year. And we need to get a trade for a quarterback. We need, I would love Kirk Cousins, but there's a lot of options. We can even get Aaron Rodgers. Um, Eli Manning is also a big option. So there's there's a lot of quarterbacks we can get, so we should have a lot of options. Uh, so that'll be exciting. Um, it would be really crazy to have Aaron Rodgers starting next season, but I'd actually rather have Kirk Cousins because he has a lot longer. Um, he's a lot younger and a lot of talent. Um also, Drew Brees, we could have a chance of getting him, uh, but uh, again, all old guys besides Kirk Cousins, so I'd rather have, I would want Kirk Cousins the most out of that, but um, yeah, it was a horrible, horrible game, uh, there's not even much to talk about, sorry, there's a little, my floor is getting done, but uh, that's going to be the end of this one, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.
Denver Broncos, they the truth. Quick to hit you with the mile, I salute. Got the doubters and the haters on mute.